Yeah, San Diego, Mac Eats, China Mac, let's get it. Bow. Y'all live, you know what I mean? Y'all wanna go sit down and get some food? This legendary, homie. This this location right here, legendary as fuck, homie. When you're 19 and moms give you five dollars and send you over here, yeah. your bread was limited. You just getting fries, homie. Till you get about 10, you just getting fries. Then when you get about 12, then you start throwing that red snapper in the basket. You go from hustling uh, your little dub sack, and you start buying ounces, then you start getting them shrimp, you them jumbo shrimps. shrimps. And then when you get big dog status, then you start throwing them lobsters in the I didn't get no lobster till I was about 25. You got China, China Mac in the Southeast. Yeah, what's up with you, man? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm going to yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta put some love on that thing. Oh, yeah, of course, man. I got you. Oh, man, it's Imperial Fish Market Southeast, man. There you go. I saw a list the other day talking about the best tacos in the country. San Diego niggas will fight about this shit. We will fight about this shit. Our taco shop, our Mexican food is different from anywhere else, anywhere. Rest in peace to the mother of this shit. Uh, she just passed away. The lady that uh, her and her husband invented Roberto's taco shop. That's some San Diego shit. She just passed away, I think, in 2021. Black folks know how to make Mexican food before we know how to make soul food, straight up. So, and we can't deny that, bro. You know what I mean? Taco shop. You can get that everywhere, but something that you ain't gonna get everywhere is the fish market. That's why I brought y'all to the fish market. No, wait, hold on, man. He's right there. He's waiting for him to come back. <laughs> bro, I got him to stand over here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk up and shit. Look at their table. You see their sauces? Yeah. You feel me? They, they, I had to go and do the same thing, you know? Ranch and hot sauce. Oh, good. You can slap it. You can slap it. Play, homie. Play, this, man, I, this right I wrote that shit sitting in this motherfucker. Like, a lot of the shit, yeah, that's my first album. Considered a classic, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the, in the Southern Cal. You wrote that shit sitting in here. A lot of How long this shit been here? How long this play been? Shit. 40 years. 40 years. I have to sell dope out this motherfucker. We eat here and smoke and come in this motherfucking car. Bro. <laughs> Fucking with that? No, you gotta try to get this, bro. <laughs> bro, this was fire, man. Yo, I just had a lobster, bro. This shit was amazing. Oh my god. Better than Hawaii? He's taking off stage, man. I don't know, man, but yo. <laughs> this shit was really good. What's a gizzard? Chicken gizzard, Tommy. Chicken gizzard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A chicken gizzard. I never had no chicken gizzard. Hot sauce. Hot sauce? Hot sauce. And lemon. A little bit of lemon. Yeah. A little bit of lemon. Yeah. That's some real hood shit right there. <laughs> Yo, I think you gotta chew that shit for like five minutes. You eat a whole plate of that, you gonna be there all day chewing. Get that. A jaw workout. The gizzard is a choir taste, homie. I mean, that's why I gave you the shrimp and the shit. Your grandmama had to start you on the gizzards young, you know what I mean? Try the shrimp. Mm -hmm. Now, this seafood is different. I ain't gonna lie, this seafood, this is my first meal in San Diego. This is going crazy right now, like. Hot sauce. Hot sauce is good. With the lemon, though, you gotta hit with the lemon. The lemon. <laughs> Look at yeah, this, man. It could be good for you coming down here. But listen, I don't. I don't recommend that you just come down here because I know you see a lot of TV shows about food and shit. You just go try the food. Just give me a call before you come to the dip to get some fish because this is really a no-fly zone. No doubt, a couple cats just snuck through and, and get their shit, but it's a no-fly zone because there's just many people that came through that wasn't supposed to be here and got it got it off. This motherfuckers that came through here and shit happened to them too. Right. You gotta tap in. This is exclusive, you heard? You don't get to come in here like that. This is a no-fly, you heard what that man said, no-fly zone. You see who up in this motherfucker? <laughs> in New York, some people gang bang, some people don't. But in here, even your grandmama know what it is. Your grandmama tell you don't walk out the house with that much blue on and shit. 
It's over more ingrained like in the, uh, in in it's, the it's, culture. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a religion. I don't even blood. Shit. As soon as I came outside, shit. As soon as you came outside. You had no, do you have a choice? No choice. I got a video call, no choice. Mm. Um, this nigga right here, Ice B. Me and this nigga thought we was from the set, was ironing our rags and shit before we went to school at eight, nine years old. You feel me? That's great. And, and really thought we was real homies. Dude, it's different, all that put on shit. We don't do the put on shit in my neighborhood. Don't do that. We don't do the put on. Why not? How is a nigga your homeboy just because you beat him up? Right. Yeah, we beat niggas up, but you just got beat up. That wasn't no put on. I'm a grown ass man right now. You know, so I'm not a gang banger no more. I'm a part of my neighborhood and all that. Gang banger is somebody that's actively banging every day. See a crib, get at it. See a blood, get at it. Right. Our put on is different. It ain't, it ain't around here. You got to do more than just get your ass beat to be from the neighborhood. Right. You know, so it take more than that. Mm. What was your first? Uh, what was your first reaction when you saw Bloods in New York? A lot. A lot of people on the West Coast talk down and feel a way about it. To me, a gang is a gang. You know what I'm saying? No matter where you're from, it's gonna be the same in every city. I don't care if you're in Detroit. I don't give a fuck if you're in Memphis. I don't give a fuck if you're in wherever you at. People from living in this area, they gonna commune together. They gonna come together. Right. And nine times out of the ten, they ain't really gonna fuck with the motherfuckers that's down on, two, you know, four five blocks down. You know I mean? This the mecca right here, bro. This is where you were scared to come get a drink from when you was a little nigga. Motherfuckers was shooting shit up around the corner, bro. You know, it's a lot of cash here in the middle of the street. You got shot right where? 2019. Right, right by you was crossing the street? Right here. Like 11 o'clock at night. Back in the 80s, the homies had the car wash right there to send no car wash right there. Pull up, get off the bus, sixth, seventh grade. See all the homies over there. Brand new shit off the lot. Why this Help shit don't look 